So there's two main components to the lab. There is the core lab service, whereby a team of over 30 technicians and senior technicians and myself, um, we basically provide uh, testing and results on behalf of projects. We get their samples, we test them for the projects and then we release the results out to them. Um, but there is also a number of projects that do their own lab work and their own experiments and what we do is we provide the facilities and the support um, for them to do that. Uh, basically my job description is to test uh, patient samples uh, for uh, infectious agents, identify them, and uh, test what drugs they will be susceptible to so that the clinicians can be better guided uh, on how to treat the patients in the hospital. One must have uh, an interest uh, in the profession and then they must also be good at sciences and then uh, attend training in one of the colleges in Malawi and then when you pass you get registered with the Medical Council of Malawi when you are certified then uh, you apply you get oriented uh, on the procedures on how to go about them and then uh, begin your work. The lab is one of the safest places to work in because uh, there are measures in place, health and safety measures, and also you are trained uh, rigorously. And the surveillance, there is on, ongoing sur surveillance uh, to check if you are uh, abiding by the standards. So it's very safe. The MLW laboratory doesn't do testing for all of the samples coming out of Queens. We do work in synergy with the lab at, at Queens. Um, we also work with KUHES. Um, not so much with lab work, but what we do as part of our diagnostic uh, training is we host students from KUHES. They come here and they do two-week work rotation. So they come and get a feel for what it's like out in the real world um, in their third year um, of the Bachelors of Medical Laboratory Technology. My research focus is looking at the impact of HIV and TB on the T cells. So our main focus is to see um, the protective immune responses in people that, have, that are living with HIV infection compared to those that do not have HIV. So we are trying to see the, the factors that contribute to individual susceptibility to developing tuberculosis. So my interest is in the T cells and how different uh, cells in the lung uh, work together to provide immunity to TB. Quite a lot of what we do here, we've got a lot of students, interns, um, and so that's also not only doing lab work, but training people who will then go on and into a scientific career. MLW is a well suitable environment for career progression. There is the internship program whereby students that have just graduated, they come and then they are mentored by, by different people within their field. So through that, they are able to apply to competitive scholarships to, in, to, um, to progress in their career. Uh, other than that, uh, we also have well equipped laboratory facilities here as well as equipment that help us to um, do research of high quality impact uh, to address different que research questions of public health and relevance. When we come to the field, we collect samples for typhoid. These samples are water samples. We also collect uh, biofilms and swabs. We deploy them on Thursdays and Fridays. We get them on Mondays and Tuesdays. That's what we do. Then from here, we go with the samples to the lab, where our lab technicians process them. A group of uh, people at MLW put together a COVID test. We couldn't get a kit-based test. We had to basically design it ourselves. 
um, and we did that. We worked together with CUHES and we worked together with the Ministry of Health. Um, and you know, to be able to do the first test was uh, was great. I mean, it was it was it's why we're here. You know, to help to help the country, to help the people of Malawi. Um, so it was really nice for the team to be part of that. In February 2021, we actually achieved uh, ISO 15189 accreditation. So this is an international accreditation um, and it was a big honour. There is a very small number of labs in Malawi that's achieved this. Um, and we managed to accredit over 40 of our tests. Um, so we by far have the largest scope within Malawi. Um, so what this means is that we have to adhere to a very strict set of guidelines uh, regulations. The work that the, the laboratory does is of a known standard. Um, so when we provide our certificate of accreditation, it means the projects, the funders can be assured of a high level of excellence for all the work that we provide. Mm -hmm.